microplastics. Itty bitty, but everywhere. How can we reduce microplastics? There are two main ways to reduce microplastics. The first is to prevent them from ever entering the environment. And the second is to remove the microplastics that are already there. One of the most impactful ways to reduce microplastics is through governmental policy changes. Policies can prevent microplastics from ever being released into our environment. Steps towards reducing microplastics are already being taken. In 2018, Canada banned the use of microbeads in products after it was discovered that they were passing through wastewater systems to pollute fresh and saltwater environments. Policies like this have a huge impact, and as a result, we're seeing a greatly reduced number of microbeads in the environment. Another huge problem are single-use plastics. In 2019, Canadians were throwing away over 3 million tons of plastic waste. This included 15 billion plastic bags a year and close to 57 million straws daily. Thankfully, these numbers are steadily going down as Canada has taken steps to ban the use of single-use plastics such as these. In order to reduce microplastics, it is also important to learn more about them. There's research being done here in New Brunswick and around the world. ACAP St. John is an environmental nonprofit that does research on climate change and monitors contaminants and water quality in the region. They're also well known in the community for organizing shoreline cleanups and planting trees. In 2018, ACAP, with help from Port St. John, contributed to a Coastal and Ocean Information Network Atlantic project by trawling for microplastics in the St. John Harbor. They used a special trawl with a very fine mesh that they dragged behind a boat to capture microplastics at the surface. Their results showed a lot of microfibers present there. They're now working with Coastal Action and Environment and Climate Change Canada to further investigate microplastics in freshwater and nearshore marine environments. This involves trawling for microplastics at various points along the St. John River and examining what they find. They're also set sampling sediment along the shores. This research will help to determine where microplastics are coming from and how they are entering freshwater systems with the goal of finding ways to prevent it. It will also be important to find ways to remove microplastics that have already been released into the environment. This is pretty tricky as most microplastics are too small to even see. Researchers are looking at all kinds of options. One involves the use of birch trees to absorb microplastics from the soils, but the effects of this still aren't fully understood, so more research needs to be done. Other research has been done by a teenager in Ireland who found a way to suck microplastics out of water using a magnetic liquid. Researchers are even looking at ways to bioengineer bacteria to feed on plastic. Cleaning up the world's microplastics definitely won't be an easy task, but working together and listening to everyone's ideas is the best way to find a sustainable long-term solution. Individuals can have a huge impact. We as a society need to be ready to take action. Plastic is a huge part of our daily routines, but we can all play a role in tackling the plastic problem by reducing, reusing, refusing, recycling, and repurposing plastic every single day. We all have the power to continue to make change happen.
Here are some easy steps you can take to reduce microplastics in your daily routine. Create a zero waste lunch. Replace single use plastics and packaging with reusable and biodegradable products like beeswax wraps and bring your own water bottle. Pick up litter in your community. Every little bit counts. Bring your own bags to the store and wear clothes made from natural fibers. You can also tell your friends. It is so important to be aware of the impact our lifestyle has on the environment. It's also important to think about how we do laundry. A couple strategies to reduce the microfibers being released into our wastewater through the laundry are to wash your clothes in cold water, to wash them less often, and you can even insert a special filter like a lint lover into your washing machine. Lint lovers collect between 65 and 100% of microfibers passing through our washing machine. This prevents them from entering sewage and septic systems, keeping those dangerous microfibers out of our waterways. Every single person can make a difference. It may be hard to remove microplastics once they reach the environment, but you can help to limit macroplastics by organizing a shoreline cleanup. This will prevent many microplastics from entering waterways because the macroplastics won't have a chance to break down. Reach out to ACAP St. John and they will provide all the supplies you need to safely clean up our shoreline. Efforts to prevent microplastics from getting into the environment and removing the microplastics that are already there are ongoing and will take a global effort. While as individuals we may not be able to do it all ourselves, we can all do our part. You can be a driving force for change in the world.